The massive winter storm is also slowing down efforts to distribute the coronavirus vaccine, with some areas shutting down vaccination sites. Last week, one hospital in Seattle faced a different type of challenge, forcing a mad dash to use 1,600 doses before they went bad. Jonathan Vigliotti shows us the staff's quick reaction after a refrigerator broke. More than 1,000 people, some even in pajamas, lined up to get an unexpected shot of the coronavirus vaccine <laughs> after a refrigerator holding 1,600 doses malfunctioned Thursday night, threatening to spoil the whole batch. I called a few nursing leaders. 30 minutes later, we're all on site and just gearing up for a mass vaccination effort. It was a frantic scramble to get as many vaccinated as possible, including those who are not high priority. It's a mad dash reality playing out across the country. Doctors trying to vaccinate people with excess doses before they expire. In Oregon last week, healthcare workers transporting vaccines got stuck in a snowstorm. They knocked on car windows and delivered doses to as many stranded drivers as they could. We want to do everything we can not to waste any doses. Washington State Health Department's Dr. Umer Shah says it's critical for statewide systems to work in emergencies. These systems are, are really working around the clock to make sure that they coordinate and at the end of the day, if you have an urgent situation in the middle of the night, that we have a way to actually transfer or be able to handle that situation. He says infrastructure is vital, but according to a recent report from ProPublica, the federal system for tracking any vaccines spoiled or thrown out nationwide has fallen short, with reporting rules not reliably communicated to vaccine providers or regularly enforced, and wastage numbers not reported to the public. Luckily, Dr. Shaw says last week's hustle showed good communication at the state level can save doses when accidents do happen. We coordinated throughout that system of local health care to the local jurisdiction and obviously to the state health department, and none of those uh, doses were wasted. Good. Nothing was wasted. That was Jonathan Bigliotti reporting.